Here's a look at what the whole schematic looks like. To the left here AC mains voltage comes in, goes through the relay contacts, is rectified and filtered. The DC voltage goes then to the standby power supply and also to the power factor correction and boost circuit, which is this one here. The boosted voltage, about 390 volt DC, go then to the circuit that creates VS and VA over here. The other voltages here like M5V and standby and 17 volts are coming from here and there are several measurements taken like input voltage, VS and others and everything is processed within this microprocessor here. Now let's talk about the circuits a little more in detail. As I mentioned AC 120 volts comes in here to the left and initially while the relays are off powers the standby power supply via the two NTCs and the four diodes in series. The controller chip powers the main transformer winding and uses a secondary winding to provide power to the chip and other circuits once it's running. When we now have a look at the feedback loop down here we see that it uses the 5 volt voltage for it. Initially though the voltage will be about 3.5 volt. They used a 2431 reference chip in this feedback loop with a 1.24 volt reference voltage. This goes then back to the feedback pin of the controller IC. To the right we can see that a signal coming from the microcontroller will determine if the regulated output voltage of this power supply will be 5 volt or 3.5 volt. It changes the resistive voltage divider used in the feedback loop. When the relay is close, plus DC voltage will go up here to the PFC and boost circuit and will create about 390 volt DC here. The controller chip itself is most likely the R2A2112 and is powered from the secondary winding as well. Some components are missing here, I didn't draw them because they are not that important to understand the circuit. The 390 volts are then used in the circuit to create VS and VA. We see its feedback loop with the trim port here. The chip can be deactivated via this optocoupler with the signal again coming from the microcontroller. The controller chip is a high voltage resonant controller. It drives these two transformers and the output voltage is then rectified and filtered and we see the VA adjustment circuit is here. The circuit up here discharges the VS caps when the TV is turned off. Now the first thing uh, we should do before starting to troubleshoot is uh, we check the board for bad solder joints, uh, bulging or leaking electrolytic capacitors. We check all the fuses with the multimeter, the power diodes and MOSFETs with the multimeter using the diode tester too and if we have any doubts about the pinouts of a component we can find them on alldatasheet.com uh, we also check all the white big uh, power resistors MOSFETs have a body diet uh, from a source to drain we can test them using the diet tester too if you didn't find any damaged components you can now replace the components proposed in the repair kits available on the internet or you can do some troubleshooting in order to test the board I would recommend removing it completely from the TV and connect a load from VS to ground as indicated in the training manual that could be uh, two 100 watt light bulbs in series or a high power resistor. We will also connect auto ground to ground and two switches from standby to RL on and M on. First leave both switches RL on and M on in the off state. Apply AC mains voltage to the board. Both relays should remain off. Then check about 170 volt DC at fuse F302. To the left you see the components commonly included in some repair kits. Now check about 3.5 volt DC on the standby voltage pin of P813. The microcontroller is now already working. The 3.5 volt can be stable or fluctuate. It's ok as long as the average voltage is correct. In my case here it initially fluctuates. Now turn on the RL on switch. The 3.5 volt we just measured should be commanded by the microcontroller to go up to 5 volt. Both relays should close. First 
RA101 and then RA103. The power factor correction circuit should now create a stable voltage of 390 volt DC at its output. You can verify this voltage at the two fuses F302 and F801. Now check the AC dead signal at the connector P813 and it should be anywhere between 4 to 5 volt. Here it's 5 volt because probably it's not loaded. I did not test it but the microcontroller should be able to determine if the relays are closed and if the input voltage is ok via the circuits uh, around PC102 and PC101. According to the training manual the main board will not allow to turn on the TV without the AC detect signal. Now turn on the M on switch and the microcontroller will now enable the VS controller chip via PC901. You should now be able to measure VS, VA and M5V. What happened on one of the boards I repaired though was the relays were turning off a short time after M on was switched on and this is because the microcontroller will measure if VS is rising and if it isn't then the microcontroller will turn off the relays and disable the VS circuit. So in my case uh, the resistor R929 was open, VS would rise to the correct voltage but the microcontroller thought it wasn't so it turned off the whole thing and then after replacing R929 the board works. There are a lot of components that can fail on this board so um, I hope this uh, schematic even if it's not complete or absolutely correct may help some of you guys. Uh, thank you for watching and uh, good luck with your repair.